Hello literature lovers, today I am going to talk about culture materialism and the person who propounded it was Marvin Harris. He was an American anthropologist born in New York City. He was also a prolific writer and influential person for a very important topic called cultural materialism. Now when we talk about it, we should understand what cultural materialism is. Talking about culture, similarities, differences as well as models for cultural change within a societal framework and a scientific research strategy that propounded prioritizes material, behavioral and ethic processes and explanation of the evolution of human social culture systems. It has three distinct levels. Now talking about assumptions, culture management is based on two key assumptions about societies. First, the various parts of society are integrated and one part of the society changes, other part all must also change. And the second assumption of CM, that is culture materialism, is that the foundation of the social cultural system is the environment. There are three distinct levels of cultural materialism. First, the infrastructure that promote the idea that infrastructure consisting of material realities such as technological, economic, reproductive factors more than influence the other two aspects of culture. The material structure consists of technology, social practices by which a society fits it into its environment. It is through the infrastructure that society manipulates its environment by modifying the amount and type of resources needed. That is what the structure. Now, infrastructure component is technology, population, and the mode. Of production, uh, the reproduction are attempts to strike a balance between the population level and the consumption of energy. And since environment is finite, now talking about the mode of production is aimed on the satisfying of the substance, and technology and practices employ for the limited. Subsistence production, especially production of food and other energy resources. These include hunting, gathering, horticulture, pastoral, agrarian, industrial, and hyper industrial. These are the pictures related to the basic needs. How we can do the reproduction? Because by using the behavior, increasing and decreasing the population size. Technology and practices help in expanding and maintaining the population size. That depends on the demographic, mating pattern, fertility, nurturance of infant, medicine, contraception. All these are the methods by which we can control and these are used in different countries. And when we talk about the structure, depending on the social cultural system of a particular pattern of the society and the members, how they maintain their relationship in on which order and also on the political and domestic economy. When we talk about the political economy, depending on the regularity of the production, exchange, consumption in the groups and social systems with the environment, how they interact to commit with one another. These are the examples related to the political economy. This is how we can globally interact with each other to get the economy close. Now we are talking about the cultural economy as we have interact in small groups and they perform many functions regulating the reproduction and the basic production in society, education, all these disciplines. These are the examples related to the cultural economy. This picture will really summarize it all. 
not talking about a superstructure this is a very important talking topic to consider in the sector consists of ideological and symbolic aspects to society such as religion giving the importance of the symbolic process behavior structure mental superstructure so this is what we talk about when we talk about the behavior it includes the activities art sports knowledge folk culture folklore and other aesthetic products this picture really summarizes it all and when we talk about mental superstructure involving the pattern and way and in which member of a society think they to the myths the standard aesthetic ideology religion this is our our belief is depending upon the places therefore the culture mentalism is believed that uh, technological and economic aspects play the primary role in shaping a society and that is why we aim to understand the effect of the technology economic and demographic factors and that is how we can world economy with the, all these factors related to it and this is how we can summarize the universal component in the society superstructures come first science religion art music literature now comes the structures that is the domestic and the political economy this is how the pattern goes and when we go down at the problem, now we need to understand the infrastructure the mode of production birth and death rates this is the also not only the below but also the base with production and death and birth rate only we can have a strong base and then we can later on talk about upper structure which is super structure slowly and gradually all are dependent on each other and somewhat interrelated that's all for today i hope you must have got an overall idea thanks for listening